So you've downloaded Sublime Text 3 and Chrome. So the next step is to create your first folder. I'm just going to right click on the screen and choose a new folder. We're going to rename this first site. Now, if you have a Mac, then you should have Sublime Text 3 on your taskbar. If you have a PC, you should save it somewhere in your desktop because what you can do is just drag the folder in. It then opens it up in Sublime Text 3 and we actually see the folder right here. To create a new file, we can just right click and choose new file. The first thing we need to do is save it. So we can just click save, save it as index.html. So this is actually your home page. You're going to save your home page. You're always going to call it index.html, never like home.html or anything like that. It's just best practice. And then we're going to create our doc type tag, HTML. This helps the browser read this document properly. Create closing and opening HTML tags. Every, all of your code is going to be inside of these HTML tags. And the next two important ones are your head tags. And after that, you're going to create your body tags. Now this little circle tells us that we did not save the document. We can just hit Command S for a Mac and Control S for a PC, and it becomes an X. And the first thing we're going to do, just to make sure that this is working properly, is we're going to create an H1 tag. Close it, save it, and then we need to actually pull it up in our browser and say, hey, is this actually working? So to do that, we're just going to minimize this, open up our first sites folder, right click on this and open with Chrome. And there it is. Hello world right there. And that's how easy it is just to get started with Sublime Text 3.